Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft, and you just saw me strap down a outhouse I have to haul out to my property. Um, but I got to get some more 2x4s milled up. You saw that last video uh, where I had some 2x4s uh, milling out of that massive white pine. These are the tops. I have three more left. We're going to tackle maybe two of them, maybe all three of them, maybe just one. Who knows how my time goes today. But I got to deliver this outhouse out to my other property um, before we get started. Got to dig a quick hole. I got the shovel. So really, I have a pretty fancy deer blind out. Not fancy. Some of you will consider it fancy. I consider it not much more than a five-gallon bucket. I'll show it to you when I get out there. Um, but I like having outhouses at my deer blinds. When nature calls, you don't want to have to wreck your deer hunt. So we're pretty successful this way, and we're going to continue to be successful. Uh, I got a big shout out to my friend Nick uh, out in the UK from Every Day With Me, Nick. he, uh, Him and Andy uh, from Global Recycling Solutions sent me this hat. They saw I wasn't wearing uh, a sponsored hat from Norwood. For some reason, you buy a, a sawmill, Frontier sawmill, they don't send you a hat. So... They sent me this uh, this hat, so that's good. So I hear a train coming. I'm going to take off and see if I can beat the train across the tracks. We made it out here. Here's my deer blind. Right now it's up. You may have seen this video of me hauling this out here. Right now it's on a hay wagon. I'm planning on removing this hay wagon this year. But this is what it looks like. We have a little bay window. And we're overlooking a valley. So I'll give you a tour here in a minute. However, I found where I'm going to put the outhouse. We're going to put it right somewhere right in here. So I'm going to start digging a hole. Whole tree's dead. But I just cut it down. But for now, I did bring the chainsaw though. Two and a half feet. That'll work. Let me show you. That'll do it. So, that. I have to build a fit in there. It's going to be tight, but I think it'll go down.
Let's give you a tour of the outhouse real quick. This is the original outhouse. I think it was built in. We have a bunch of writing on the walls. 95. It was built in 94. There's our deer camp rules. How many deer were taken each year. All right, let's go inside. I do have to do some cleaning in here. I'm sure of that. We have a little solar system out here and an inverter. Well, you saw me move this. This was actually behind the house. There's the wood stove. We call this the hanger because of the airplane prop. So I'm going to sweep this out. But there's my view looking down the valley. I have it all cleaned out. I just have to get some firewood. Right down here. I have two stumps right here. I'm going to grind one here and one there. Then I got a tr uh, tree across the trail. So I'm going to take care of those. I'm going to move my chainsaw so I don't hit it. That's a pine, so that will go out real fast. It just took a couple minutes. Both those stumps are gone. So I'm going to chop this up real quick. Like I mentioned earlier in the video.
massive white pine that you saw me take down, you saw me get here, you saw me mill up some uh, 17 foot, I think they were 17, uh, two by eights. I just got some two by fours, total of 82 by fours and 22 two by eights out of that tree. Um, these two by fours are really nice. I'm really happy with those Jerry Ripper, Jerry's uh, Ripper 37s, I think is what they're called. That is the end of that blade. That blade has gone through probably six or seven logs. So before I do the, I have some customers what I have to do over here. I have uh, about a dozen oak logs, uh, six white oaks and a bunch of black oaks. So maybe a little more than a dozen. So I'm, I'll definitely change it up before I start tackling them tomorrow. No, probably Thursday. Well, I have to do that Sunday. So today, as we started off, you know, we moved that outhouse. It was cold this morning, so. And we, we finished up here at the mill. So that's pretty much a day in my life. Um, those are the kind of things I'm doing every day. Uh, it's probably close to 4 o'clock now. I need to get to the karate school. I got to volunteer for some classes tonight. I'll teach you guys some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So if any of you guys uh, train, I'll probably go see you. I'll try karate in the but anyhow, we got this done. So like, comment, subscribe, guys, and you have a great day. Man, I got to get that sawdust out of there. It's starting to pile up. Wait, I got this oak. I wonder if it'll pick this up. Let's see what's right behind me. Yeah, I'll give it a minute. Yeah, this feels good. Oh, does that feel good? peaceful out here guys well that pine smells good I wonder how sticky my shirt's gonna be actually this white pine has been pretty good it's not too sappy so I think it's gonna be okay tonight all right I can't do that all day.